Hello guys, now this video is about deriving area of equilateral triangles. We know that area of any given equilateral triangle is equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 times side square. Now if we are given side of any given equilateral triangle, we can find its area by using this formula. Now let's suppose that triangle ABC is equilateral and its side is given to us, it's equal to 5 cm and we can find its area by using this formula. So area would be equal to under root 3 divided by 4 times 5 times 5 and whatever answer we get here in terms of centimeter square and that would be the answer. Now from where we get this formula? So this video will be about deriving this formula. Now we also know that area of this triangle ABC is all is equal to 1 by 2 times BC times AD because area of triangle is equal to half times base into height. We know that base is BC and AD is the height of triangle. I have just drawn perpendicular to side BC. So AD would be the height of the triangle. Now what is the value of AD in terms of AC? Now if we use Pythagoras theorem on triangle ADC, I can write AC square is equal to AD square plus CD square. Now taking AD square to the left hand side or CD square to the left hand side, sorry, I will I can write AC square minus CD square equal to AD square now I can take square root on both sides I will get AD equal to square root of AC square minus CD square now I can put the value of AD in this equation so I will get area of triangle ABC is equal to 1 by 2 times BC times square root of AC square minus CD square now we know that all the three sides are equal in equilateral triangle and AC is equal to BC so I can replace the value of AC with BC so we are basically trying to eliminate as much variables as possible so AC is equal to BC I'll write BC square minus CD square now let's mark this equation number one now what is the value of CD here in terms of BC if we can find the value of CD in terms of BC it will solve the, our problem and we will be able to derive this formula now how we can find value of CD in terms of BC now there is property of equilateral triangles that perpendicular drawn to any side we have a perpendicular drawn to side BC and properties if we draw perpendicular to any given side from any vertex then it divides the side into two equal parts so basically we have here cd is equal to bd or we can also write cd is half of bc we can prove this by congruency of triangles if we can prove that triangle abd is congruent to triangle acd we can prove that triangle abd is congruent to triangle acd by RHS method I will write it here RHS method we can prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD so basically this method states that any two right angled triangles are congruent if they have equal hypotenuse we have two right angle triangles here and one is ADB and other is ADC and if they have equal hypotenuse we have AB is equal to AC and we have any other equal pair of corresponding sides we also have ad common for both of these triangles so for both of these triangles we have ad equal to ad because it is common so this condition is also true that we have equal pair of corresponding sides and equal hypotenuse so we, it means that by rhs method triangle abd is congruent to triangle acd so by congruency rule we can write that BD is equal to CD because if the triangles are congruent there's corresponding parts their corresponding parts are equal so in other words we can also write BC or CD is equal to half of BC 
or if you just don't want to go through the, all the proof of this congruency you can just memorize that that triangle drawn to any side from any vertex in equilateral triangle it divides the side into two equal parts so cd is equal to half of bc so i'll just replace it here 1 by 2 times bc times bc square minus cd is half of bc so bc divided by 2 square and we have a square root here so 1 by 2 times bc times and solving this part under the square root we get bc square divided by bc square okay i will solve it in the next step bc square divided by 1 from here minus bc square divided by 4 and we get here 1 divided by 2 times bc square root of 4 in the denominator and 4 bc square minus bc square and we get here 1 by 2 times bc times square root of 3 bc square divided by 4 now taking square root part we can write square root of 3 as it is because it cannot be solved further and square root of this bc square so bc comes outside of square root and this 4 square root of 4 is 2 now multiplying this bc with this bc we get under root 3 and multiplying this 2 with this 2 we get 4 in the denominator and this bc by bc becomes bc square so area is equal to under root 3 divided by 4 times bc square which is also equal to under root 3 divided by 4 times side square because bc is one of the side so that's about how to derive area of equilateral triangles i hope you guys learned something from this video uh, see you guys in the next video